Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Gladys Assistant running on dockage. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So. Let's get back to your registered programming. So I'm gonna be installing Gladys Assistant. It's a smart home experience, uh, kind of like a simpler version of a home assistant. Um, here's some cool features out of the box. Build great dashboards, automate your life with scenes. And then always one message away. It's got a chat built in. It can uh, uh, use chat GPT integration too. Um, so it's a lot of capabilities built in. And then privacy, easy to use, clean UI, stable, fast, and auto upgrades. Um, so that's what we'll be installing today. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm gonna go to uh, up here, search box, and type Gal Galatis. Then now I'm gonna go in the folder. So I'm gonna go to the Docker Compose. So version three is being used with Docker Compose file format. And then I'm gonna set some services. And then the first service underneath the services is called Gal Galatis. The image is coming off Docker Hub because there's no URL before this. It's Galatis Assistant and then Gal Galatis and then the Docker image tag. So this is the Docker image right here. Um, it's restart always, so that means that if you do anything to the container, it's always going to restart, failure, stop, anything. It's going to be privileged to set to true. And then the network mode is host. The container name is called Big Bear Gl Gladys. The C group is a host. The environment variables are set. So uh, the environment is production, SQL file uh, pa path. And then the time zone. I would set to, uh, this to your own ti uh, time zone. Uh, the server port is 1080. This is on the, um, th th this is the path to your database. And then um, this is on the containers path. And uh, so the volumes down here are var run docker.sock to go uh, to get the Docker engine. And then this is on the cont container. The left side is on the host. The right side is on the container. And then Glidey's data, that is a local volume that's set down here, that's defined down here. And then varlib Glidey's assistant is on the container side, and that runs with up here. And then dev, dev, so left is on the host, right is on the container. And then run yo dev is on the host, and then run yo dev is on the container. And then now it's going to define the vo volume. So I'm going to go ahead and copy your all file, and then I'm going to go to my dockage and get this installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So I'm going to start on my dockage. I'm going to go up to Compose right here. And then I'm going to put a stack name of Glady's uh, stack. And then I'm going to go over here to the editor over here. And I'm going to paste in the Docker and post I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. And then um, you'll see a UI version of it over here. You can edit over here and vice versa. So I'm going to go, I go up here to deploy. And then now it's deploying. So we got it installed and it's up and running. So now I'm going to go over the stack options in dockage. So active, active, and inactive. This is just a status check that you get on the home page. And this is for all the stacks that you have over here. Um, you can go into Glidy stack. You can have actions up here. So edit, restart, update, stop, and then stop and inactive, and then delete the stack. You can go into edit, and then you can edit over here raw, or you can do it in the UI as well. You can also delete that out of the services right here, delete this whole service. 
Um, you can also add a service, so Nginx, and then there we go, it's added underneath the services right here. So you can go in here and edit the image and add one. Um, you can delete that. You can add a uh, URLs. You can set environment variables, uh, networks, internal and external. You can also go up here to deploy your changes, save your changes, or stop an inactive, and then discard your changes. I'm going to discard the changes. So you can restart the stack, and then that will just go ahead and restart it. And then you can update the current tag that's on the stack. Like if the developer pushes an update to this tag, you can get the cha changes down from the registry by doing an update. Um, you can stop the stack. So um, now you can see the containers in the stack and you can see the, which version you're running. You can go into the bash and if you get this error, that means that the uh, container doesn't support bash. So you can go into SH too if that's supported and there we go. Um, you can see a console log down here of what's happening. It's great for debugging. You can see a read-only version of the Docker Compose over here. But if you want to edit it, you just go in the edit over here. So that's a little bit about the stack options in Dockage. So we're going to be going the UI on Gladys now. So in my browser, I'm going to do the Dockage IP address and then 1080 for the port. Um, since Gladys is listening on the host network stack, um, it's not going to have any ports where you can click it and go to the UI. So uh, Gl Gladys uh, does recommend it you do that way with the network mode uh, and you put it on the the, the host network. So now I'm going to go to the UI. So now it's going to say welcome to Gla Gladys and then I'm going to create a local account. So now um, put in an email address and then a password and then confirm it. And then now I'm going to create an account. So now you can put in your temperature unit and your miles. And then one week, one month, three months, six months, one year, two years, or forever on keeping device state history. I'm going to keep it with three months. Now you can put the name of your home in. And then um, you can put your first room. Then there you go. Now, now you can sa save the house. So now this is the creator of it, and he's saying thank you. So I'm gonna go to dashboard. You can create a new dashboard. So now you can create, and then now you can go in here and create a first column. Um, I'm gonna go with a clock, and then a digital, and then uh, show seconds. So now you can move this around to each column, and it'll update. You put it in the middle, and then save. There you go. You have your time there. You can also go in back into edit and move it again. And then there we go. You have your time here. You can switch between all your dashboards here. You can go into tablet mode and then full screen and then exit full screen. And then you can also uh, edit it again. You can see all your dashboards over here. You can create a new one. You can go into chat right here and do a um, a chat and then it does need open weather API integration set up. You can also set up chat GPT as too. You can go into integrations and show how to set these up. You can go into calendar and have yourself a calendar. Um, you can see the map of where your home is. You can create zones. You can go into scenes and create you your first scene. You can go up here to profile and you can change your profile, your password and, and um, your email. You can go into settings and then this is the house settings. And then a users, you can add users and the, se uh, the sessions, um, the plus backups and task services, and then the system disk uptime version and then time zone, and then da database cleaning. Um, so that's a little bit about Gladys Assistant and the UI.
So I just went over start from finish on getting Glady's assistant running on dockage. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.